Page 12, Leprechaun Parade. 6-8 time, imagine that. Talk a little bit about what's going on here. So we'll start with the right hand. You have a pickup beat at the beginning, no big deal. Notice right there in that first full measure, the finger numbers, they have a 4 and a 1 in parentheses. Those are alternate, and you can experiment on your own and see what you like to do. You can do this with a 1, 3, 4, and a 1. It's up to you. Or you can do it with a 1, 3, and a 1. Okay, it's up to you what you do. I'm going to do the 1, 3, 1. Uh, and you get this phrase all over the place. So however you finger it here, finger it the same way everywhere else. Just do it the same. Hand will move around a little bit. Not a problem, I hope. Make sure you observe all the rests. You've got eighth rests in places we want to hear them. And make sure the phrasing is there because we want to hear the phrasing. Like the last measure of the first line, put a little silence between the B and the D. So just lift the hand up and drop it again. At. There, so we get phrase breaks. Other than that, I don't have a lot to say about the right hand. The right hand is a melody. You're going to bring it out. Have fun with it. A lot of repetition. Follow the fingering and the notes they've got. The notes may not be what you think they are, so careful on those. For the left hand, you have staccato almost throughout the whole thing. And a nice light wrist staccato. This is a light thing. you got to stay under the melody. So it's the, right there at the chord at the beginning. That is a G. C sharp, D. That sounds terrible, but what do you expect for a leprechaun? Those are the chords. It's just, you like, you're bouncing off the keys almost. Real light. Try and get them all down at the same time. And try and make sure all three notes sound that you're playing them all. Now, your left hand will move around a little bit. When you get down to the bottom of page 12, you're coming up here. You got rests all over in the left hand, so you got plenty of time to move around when you need to. The only legato for the left hand is the second line on page 13. You, get, you can see it there. There. See it there? Not a problem. Not, that you can bring out. That, that's fine, because the right hand isn't doing anything. Now, at the end of this, it's the last line plus one measure. It's where the right hand plays the G. And it's tied all the way to the end. So the right hand isn't going to play it again. It's going to hold it down there for four measures and a, and a couple of beats. While it's doing that, it's dying away. You can hear the sound die away. It's doing it on its own. Well, what we want to do in the left hand is follow that die away. Okay? They're telling you poco a poco means little by little. Dim, diminuendo, means get softer. Well, when you have something like this, the right hand tells you how softer. Because the right hand dies away. And as the right hand dies away, the left hand should follow it. Should die away right along with it. You have to practice that. And hopefully you have a fairly decent piano that lets you have control over the louds and softs. But try to make your left hand die away to stay under the right hand G as it dies away. And be careful, at the very end, the last note in the left hand is not staccato. Ha! <laughs> they get you. It's a full quarter note. Let's try this out together. There's no pedal in this because we got staccato all over. We don't want to mess that up. I'll give us five counts because there is a pickup beat. Now I put the metronome on 100, I hope that's not too fast, but it's beating eighth notes. So for instance, it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 1, 2. Hopefully you can play it that fast. It should go faster than that. They say march time, which means you should be able to march to it. Boom. Right, left, right, left, right. That's how fast it should go, but we're not going to go that fast. Let's go this fast. 
if you can just do it with me one hand at a time for a while until you can build up the speed to get there. Don't be in a hurry to get through this book. Let's take time and learn these things one at a time. Right hand goes here, left hand here, five counts. One, two, three, ready, go. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. 